Hey everyone, so I've recently been getting a lot of questions about the best way to add more power to the 2.7 liter Ford Bronco. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, well, that's easy, just get a custom tune, right? Well, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of Bronco owners at the 2025 Super Celebration East, and most Bronco owners that I talked to did not want to go down the custom tune rabbit hole. So today, I want to talk about three mods that will get your 2.7 liter Ford Bronco to produce around 400 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. Don't worry, 2.3 liter owners, I'll have a follow-up video highlighting top mods for you very soon. Now, a lot of you might be wanting more power because you just put on heavier tires for better off-road performance, uh, or maybe you want more fun in the dunes, or maybe easily pass that pesky Jeep Wrangler that's driving 10 under in the fast lane. Regardless of your reasons, one thing is for sure, more power equals more fun. All right, so let's start and take a look at the heart of the today's performance gains. Now this is the Pulsar XT. It's an inline performance module that leaves your factory ECU untouched. That means zero trace when removed, perfect for those dealership visits. Now the Pulsar XT is said to provide up to 55 more horsepower and 69 foot-pounds of torque, all while improving drivability and throttle response. In fact, the marketing team over at Superchips put their Bronco on the dyno and saw gains up to 49 horsepower and 79 torque. That was the device set to the highest power level. Now, speaking of power level, the Pulsar XT has five of them. You can switch between all of them on the fly using a Bluetooth switch or your smartphone. Some other cool features of the Pulsar is to adjust throttle sensitivity, calibrate the speedometer for bigger tires, disable auto start stop, and more. It even includes cold engine protection so the power isn't added until you're up to operating temperature. This is the most feature-packed module available and happens to be my favorite piggyback tuner for the Ford Bronco. Next up is the CV Fabrication Intercooler. This is an absolute must and critical for keeping those intake temperatures low and power consistent. There's no sense in adding all that power with the Pulsar XT just for your Bronco to get heat soak and not realize any of those gains. Now this intercooler does feature 58% greater internal core volume and 144% increase in external fin surface when compared to the OEM intercooler. It's also the most cost-effective intercooler for the Ford Bronco as it comes with a lifetime warranty and CV fabrication does not charge for shipping or tax. Now one thing to note is that you will need to remove the factory grill shutters at the front of your Bronco, but installation for this intercooler is very easy in my opinion. I have a step-by-step -step installation video on my channel, which I will put in the video's description if anyone is interested. Now let's get more air with a CVF Pro Performance Intake. This intake flows 36 more air than stock thanks to the wide open XLPE housing and its five layer dry filter. Now there's plenty of intake offerings for the 2.7 liter Bronco that just replace the air box. But in my opinion, you're gonna wanna replace the ones that replace the air box and the restrictive OEM tubing. This is how you're gonna see the most gains. Now this intake is easy to bolt on, so no modifications needed. And again, being CV fab, it has a lifetime warranty and they don't charge for shipping or for tax. So to recap, with the Pulsar XT, CV Fab intercooler, and Pro Performance intake installed, your Bronco will be pushing around 400 horsepower and 500 foot pounds of torque at the crank. Now, the cost of these mods will vary, but I estimate the cost to be between $1,400 and $1,600 if you install everything yourself. Now, I've seen the Pulsar XT for as low as $599, and the intercooler and intake will run you right under $1,000. Now you can save even more money on the intercooler and intake if you use my code full speed at the checkout on CV Fabrication's website. Now I tested a similar setup on my personal Sasquatch equipped Bronco and reached zero to 60 in the mid five second range and the quarter mile and high 13s using 93 octane. Expect 91 octane to only be slightly slower. Now you might ask about gas mileage and it won't be affected as long as you keep your foot out of it. In fact, if you've been using 87 or 89 octane, you might actually get better gas mileage since you'll be needing to use premium gas with these modifications. And yes, you do need to use premium gas. Also, if you have access to E85, you can use an ethanol calculator to mix up some E30, and that will get you anywhere from 10 to 20 extra horsepower as the Bronco's ECU will adapt automatically. 
Now, if you're like me and you want even more horsepower, you can look into downpipes, cap back exhausts, port of throttle bodies and intakes and spacers. I have all that linked in the video description if you're interested. But going back to my previous statement, if you want to see serious gains, then you will want to go the custom tune route. I highly recommend ZFG Racing as they deliver solid and reliable tuning for the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. Okay, folks, well, that is it. That's how you build a 400 horsepower 2.7 liter Ford Bronco. More power and way more fun. So I hope you found this video helpful and stay tuned as I'll have a similar video coming up for the 2.3 liter. Thanks for checking out the video.